Good afternoon, everybody. We certainly want to welcome you to the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, USA, here in New York City. I'm Brian Custer, host of Showtime Championship Boxing. It is fight week. And we welcome you to the official press conference for Garcia versus Red Catch. Saturday, January 25th at the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, the event is brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. And it's promoted by TGB Promotions, led by Tom Brown, and DSG Promotions, which is led by Danny Garcia. Uh, we want to acknowledge the Barclays Center. This will be the 37th boxing event that has taken place at that venue. It is the premier East Coast venue for world class boxing. In fact, boxing first started there in October of 2012 when that venue opened. And Danny, I don't know if you remember this. In October 2012, Danny Garcia was the headliner. In fact, you were there fighting uh, your title rematch against Eric Morales. It was also Danny Garcia's debut on Showtime Championship Boxing. Since then, this young man has made eight appearances on Showtime, if you include CBS as well. In fact, no one has headlined more at the Barclays Center than Danny Garcia. And we certainly have a, a vested interest uh, in headlining and putting on events at Barclays Center. It will be the 21st time uh, that Showtime has put on a boxing event there, 23 when you count uh, the two that we also did on CBS. And I want to give a special thanks and shout out to the Barclays Center, especially their team. Uh, Keith Sheldon, he's their executive vice president of BSE Global and their senior boxing advisor. Saw him in the back. Anthony Catazzaro, where is he at? He's here as well. Thank you for all you guys do and being a friend of boxing and Brooklyn boxing as well. Tickets, they're on sale. You can get some, ticketmaster.com. Also, you can get some at barclaycenter.com and the American Express box office, which is located right there inside Barclays Center. Showtime Championship Boxing is going to bring you a triple header of fights coming January 25th. Garcia, Red Catch is live on Showtime. The televised bouts begin at 9 p.m. Eastern. That is 6 o'clock Pacific time. We also want to remind you that Showtime Championship Boxing Countdown, it's a three-fight card of the undercard fights. We're going to stream those live on the Showtime Sports YouTube uh, channel and the Showtime Boxing Facebook page. That comes your way live at 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 o'clock Pacific time. Every fight card has to have some intrigue. And this one has it. Because we're going to begin the night with a couple of unbeaten fighters at 122 pounds. Neither one has tasted defeat. You don't want to miss the opening fight. The co-main, the night is a couple of swifts on the card. Because the co-main features the former unified champ and Jared Swift Heard making his first fight since losing his titles. And then the main event. He calls it the Danny Garcia Show. And it's Danny Garcia versus Ivan Redcatch, who's a big puncher. That's the intrigue. The guy who helped put all of this together is a great boxing mind. He's also the president in sport of sports and event programming for Showtime Networks. Steven Espinoza couldn't be here. But we got the next best thing. We've got the guy who runs Showtime, really runs Showtime, the one and only Chris de Blasio. All right. So it's the short straw. You guys drew the short straw today. Sorry, our great boxing mind, Stephen, couldn't be here. He sends his uh, regrets for that, but he will be tomorrow at the weigh-in and, of course, Saturday night, uh, where we're all looking forward to. I want to say thank you to Brian for hosting today. Um, I want to thank Tom Brown and TGB Promotions for helping us orchestrate the event. Uh, Keith Sheldon, Anthony Catanzaro from the Barclays Center, um, and of course Tim Smith, the Watson family, everybody at Heyman Boxing and PBC for uh, these spectacular events we're putting on uh, month after month. 
Uh, Showtime is in the midst of an excellent run, eight live boxing shows across just 10 weeks. We're featuring many of the biggest names in the sport in that time. It began with Gervonta Davis, Badu Jack, and Jean Pascal on December 28th. It includes Gary Russell Jr. and Guillermo Rigondeaux coming up. And of course, two men seated up here today. This run also includes a bevy of young prospects and contenders, Jerron Ennis among them, Shojahan Ergashev, remember that name, and Ruben Villa, many others on our Showbox series across this particular run that runs through February 28th. On Saturday night in particular, we have a great mix of bouts. There's three young prospects, as Brian mentioned, who are gonna be featured on our Countdown show live on Facebook and YouTube, that's globally. And that's before the Showtime telecast begins. At nine o'clock, we've got three high stakes bouts with, between the six men that are up here today. For different reasons, each of these fights and each man here is in a must win type of fight on Saturday. Stephen Fulton and Arnold Kagai, for them, this is more than a chance to shine on national TV and under the bright lights at one of the premier boxing arenas in the country. This is a chance to earn a right to fight for a world title in their next fight. For Danny and for Jarrett, these are two men in the top five of their respective divisions. These are easily the two deepest divisions in boxing. These guys have taken on the biggest and toughest challenges in their careers. And win, lose, or draw in those fights, they have earned the right to be among the elite. But they need strong performances on Saturday night to maintain their status and to have a shot to regain the world titles that they covet. Across the ring in both fights, these men to my left, Ivan and Francesco, you guys have the chance to break into the ranks to the elite on Saturday. And win, lose, or draw for you, even with a strong performance against these former world champions, you can stay in the hunt for a challenge at a world title. If not, break into the top five with a great performance. Make no mistake, high, high stakes, intriguing fights up and down the entire card. We're looking forward to a great night on Saturday night. And I appreciate your time. Right? Very well done. Man runs that network. Um, shout out to my man, Sam Watson. Heyman boxing there. I thought that was Al Heyman himself. <laughs> Good to see him. Let's hear from the fighters. That's why you came here. We begin the night. Two unbeaten fighters going to start and set the table Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific time on Showtime Championship Boxing. And coming to the podium is a man who's never tasted defeat. 16 and 0. One draw. Ten of his victories have come by knockout. He's got heavy hands. He's an exciting fighter. Here is Arnold Hagai. Здравствуйте всем. Спасибо, что пришли. Спасибо, хочу сказать, поблагодарить свою промоутерскую компанию. Showtime и всем, кто организовывает этот вечер, бокс, вечер бокса. Надеюсь, что покажу хороший бокс. Я пришел сюда за поясом. Покажу все, покажу все, что, что, все, 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 что я могу, покажу 25-го в субботу. Hello, everybody. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, Salida Promotions, Showtime, uh, for having me here. You guys can wait for a good fight this Saturday night. He came here for the belt, and um, let's see what happens Saturday night. Thank you, everybody. Now, his opponent, unbeaten, 17-0. Eight of his victories have come by knockout. He goes by the name of Cool Boy Steph. By the way, this will be the seventh unbeaten fighter that he's faced. So he has walked through the fire to get to where he is. He is the pride of West Philly. He is the IBO champion of the world, Stephen Fulton Jr. Hi, 
y'all doing? First of all, I want to thank God, Al Heyman, Steven Espinosa, and the whole Showtime crew, BSG Promotions, TGB Promotions, Tom Brown, Chris as well. I'm ready. I'm here. It's no secret why I'm here. They know why I'm here. They know everything about me. They know my fighting style. I know their game plan. You know, everybody sees footage of me and think they're just going to dog me out and rough me up. I get into that too. It's no secret. I'm here for a reason. I just want to thank all of y'all for coming out. And I have nothing else to say for, or at that aspect. So, see y'all Saturday night. That's the opening fight. Now we get to the co-main. 154 pounds, 10 rounds of boxing. And coming here to the podium now is a young man comes in at 25, 7, and 1 but 12 knockouts. Pressure, come forward fighter. He's, fight, he's already fought some of the best. Charlo, J-Rock, now he's gonna be fight, facing Jared Hurd. Here's Francisco Santana. How's it going? I wanna thank, uh, thank TGB Promotions, Tom Brown, Louis de Cubas, uh, Al Heyman, Sam Watson, Showtime, and Heard for giving me the uh, great opportunity. It's going to be an honor to be able to set foot in the ring with the, a former unified uh, world champion and uh, an elite fighter. So that, that's going to be an honor. Um, but I was actually, uh, I know in the last press conference, I was saying how nobody was giving me a shot to win. And I was, uh, this morning, I was checking the spread, the, the betting spread, and man, they, I really don't have a shot, because it was a 14 to one. Man, so uh, it's almost, almost like uh, I should just stay home and watch myself fight. <laughs> no, but but uh, all jokes aside, man, uh, everybody knows I come to fight, um, regardless uh, whether if I'm the underdog or not. Um, I, I come to fight. I love to fight. It's, it's what I love to do, and I'm just uh, I'm astounded to be able to be able to do it and, and perform again uh, come Saturday night. Um, so, Jared, um, if you want to bring it down to 147, that's cool. We can do it too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no. But thank you, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jared, for the opportunity, and thanks everybody, man. And uh, just expect it's going to be a great, great fight uh, come Saturday night. Thank you. But you know, Francisco, here's the beauty of boxing. You know, they always say in this sport, it only takes one punch. And that 154 pound division is exciting, filled with some great fighters. And I think when Jason uh, Rosario walked, in, walked into that ring against J-Rock, heavy underdog, fighting in Philly and went in there and shocked the world. So it can happen. That's the intrigue. So Mr. Santana will be fighting the former Unify champion of the world. This man comes into the ring 23 and one, 16 knockouts, always known to be one of the bigger 154 pounders, exciting, Every fight he has, it seems to be a great fight. It was fight of the year when he fought Irislandi Lara last year. So this guy here brings it. He's got a new trainer. He's got a whole new look. But he's still swift. Jared Hurt or, shall I? Mr. Get That Bag. <laughs> it's Jared Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? First of all, I would like to thank God, um, Showtime, TGB Promotions, Al Heyman, um, uh, DG, DSG Promotions, and you know the entire staff that are uh, helping out with this event. Um, this is the second time, you know, uh, I'm on the call with Danny Garcia. You know, two Swifts on the same card. I like to call it Swift Squared. You know, um, but uh, it's always excitement. It's always going to be a great turnout. And uh, 
I don't know if you guys checked you guys' forecast, but uh, this Saturday is definitely going to be a storm coming this Saturday. And every time I fight, I bring the storm. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm ready to fight. I know Francisco Santana, he's going to bring his A game. So uh, let's get it, man. I will get y'all a miss to get that bag, but I'm ready to weigh in. So <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Danny told me I got to work on my note, carrying that note, brother. Singing ain't my thing. All right, so now we get to the main event. Man, we got probably one of the biggest punchers in the welterweight division. Best division in boxing. One of the most competitive divisions in boxing. We got a heavy-handed challenger. We got a guy who just knocks people out here in the main event. Let's start with my gentleman to my left. You're right. 23, four, and one, but he's got 18 knockouts. South Paul, he always brings it every time he steps into the ring. He's known as the terrible Ivan Redcatch. Добрый день всем. Хочу поблагодарить мою команду и организаторов, кто сделал этот бой. Эл Хейман, Сэм Ватсон, Дэнни Гарсия, Шоу Тайм, Франциско Спинозе. I want to thank everybody who made this event happen. Uh, Show Time, uh, DSG Promotions, Эл Хейман. Хочу поблагодарить еще моих друзей, мой угол, который очень сильно трудился на протяжении трех месяцев и Мы вам покажем отличный бой. I also want to thank my corner, uh, all the people that were besides me during the training camp, and this Saturday night I'm going to show you a good fight. Спасибо, Дэнни Гарсия, что согласился на этот бой. Мы устроим крутейший бой, и ринг определит сильнейшего. Thank you for uh, Danny Garcia for taking this fight. Uh, we're going to make a great show this Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now the man he'll be fighting. 35, two, but 21 of those victories have come by knockout. Eight time headlining at Barclays. No one has headlined Barclays more. Holds the record for the largest crowd. 16,500 came out to see him when he fought Keith Thurman. He calls it the Danny Garcia Show. Every time he steps into the ring, he is Danny Swift Garcia. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank the media for coming out. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Showtime. I want to thank my team, Team Garcia. It's been a long 10-week camp, uh, 10 week camp put in the hard work. We did everything we were supposed to do. Um, we ran the hills, we ate the rocks, you know, we did everything, everything we were supposed to do, you know, so we're ready to go. I'm, I'm glad I had a safe camp, no injuries, and you should be expecting to see the best Danny Garcia come Saturday night. Um, I'm excited to be back at the Barclays Center. Um, this feels like my home away from home. Definitely my, my fans from Philly, my friends, my family, everyone from Philly is going to be coming up. My fans from New York, my fans from Brooklyn. My fans from all around the world, I'm being excited, you know, to go in there and show my skills again. Like I said before, I feel like I have unfinished business here in Brooklyn, and I come um, Saturday night. We ain't leaving no rock on turn. We're going to go in there and get the job done. And there's not really much more to say. Uh, you know, I've been, you know, I'm... I knew who Ivan is. I had to, I had to unfollow him on Instagram. Don't take it personal, because he turned he turned him into, he turned into my rival. But uh, I haven't I haven't had sweets in a long time, and Ivan up here looking like a lemonhead. <laughs> come come Saturday night. I'm gonna have some good dessert. I see you Saturday night, baby. Thank you.
<laughs> All right. Let's talk about the fights. <laughs> My man Danny turning this into deaf comedy jam up in his piece. All right, let's talk about these fights. Let's start with the opening bout. Two unbeaten fighters. Cool boy, let me start with you. Seventh unbeaten fighter you faced, and you say he hasn't learned yet. Tell me and tell the people, what has Arnold not learned, considering this is the seventh unbeaten fighter you'll be facing? The same as, this, this the same as every other undefeated fighter I've fought. They, they lack the knowledge of fighting me. What will happen when you fight me? They all try to fight me the same way. No matter which way you fight me, I will find a way to win. That's, it's, just in my, it's just in me, in my blood. Philadelphia as well. We find a way to win and prevail no matter what. Arnold, I want you to respond to that. What's your response? We will see We will see Saturday night. Mm. Uh, cool boy, you said you plan on stealing the show come Saturday night. How so? Plan on being myself, you know, plan on a great performance against a, a, another good opponent. So once I do that and just be myself, cool, calm, relax, and be cool boy stuff, can't be stopped. It, it naturally happens. Arnold, I know you fought on Showbox a couple of times. First time now on Showtime Championship Boxing. What does this opportunity mean to you? What are you trying to show the boxing public worldwide come Saturday? I think this is the biggest chance for me. This is the biggest show in my career. I think this is a big chance for me. I think this is a big step in my career right now. Поэтому я постараюсь отдать всего себя в ринге. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give everything in the ring. I'm gonna give myself everything in the ring. So I'm gonna give my everything in that ring. 154 pounds. Francisco, listen. You you face some of the best. Charlo, J Rock. In your opinion, where does Jared Hurd? stand out of all of those guys who you've already faced? Well, I think it's, it's the biggest fight of my career. Absolutely. It's, it's uh, like he said before, just because he lost his last fight doesn't mean that he's out. I mean, he's, he's, he's the, still an, an elite fighter in the super welterweight division. So, uh, um, absolutely. You know, once you're in the elite division, you got to have respect for every single person that, that, that step, sets foot in, in that ring, you know, because uh, we all saw what happened last week, you know, uh, and uh, it's, all it takes is one punch to, it, to end a fight. Um, so I think that he is definitely the biggest fight of my career. Jared, as we've talked about, you know, Jason Rosario stopped J-Rock, he takes the belts. How much did that motivate you, not only for this fight, but to get your belts back? To be honest, it didn't, it didn't motivate me at all. You know, I, I still had the same motivation for this, going into this fight that I always had. If J-Rock would have fought a week before me, it won or lost, you know, it didn't change anything. I was focused on Francisco Santana. Um, you know, I didn't have no, no feelings towards what happened, you know. Like I said earlier yesterday, I said he lost. You know, he bounced back before he'll bounce back again. Mm -hmm. You have been pretty honest about that's the rematch you want. Considering he lost, is that still your future plans or have those changed? We don't know yet. You know, we didn't think that far because – we still have this task on Saturday. We, we, of course, we wanted the rematch, but we didn't think uh, since, since it was some changes or what we're going to do next. Yeah. Francisco, same question for you. Considering what happened uh, last week, that stoppage of Julian Williams, 
Did that give you any extra motivation going into this fight? The motivation's always been there. Um, again, you know, because knowing who I was going to face, uh, the biggest opportunity of my career, of my life. So that motivation was always there. Um, I was just watching the fight as, as, a, as a boxing spectator, as a fan. Uh, you know, and I always rooted for, for J-Rock, you know, since him and I fought to a draw uh, years back. Um, I've seen the improvement that he's made, and I've always just admired his hard work and, and the determination. So that was, I tuned in that night just to watch him fight. But the motivation for this fight, it, it's always been in there. Uh, I actually get my motivation from my family, from my kids. You know, they're my motivation. You know, waking up at four in the morning to go run, driving an hour to go to work every day, you know, spend uh, paving the roads, uh, getting off of work, driving back to the gym. Don't start training till like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I don't get home till 8 o'clock. Sometimes I don't get to see my kids. You know, and to me, that without my kids, I have no air. So um, they're my biggest motivation. So I, I know it's, a, it's been a long sacrifice, but with uh, sacrifice, there's always a great reward afterwards. Lastly, you know, Rosario talked about he was a big puncher. He said, I know a lot of people don't know who I am. That's how I'm going to shock the world. How will you shock the world Saturday? Tune in Saturday. You know, um, everybody's, till this day, they, they've, they've always seen a small portion of, of what, I, what I can do. You know, I, everybody knows me as the guy that just comes forward and, and comes to fight. Uh, but uh, I've been doing this for, for a long time. And uh, I think my experience, you know, experience uh, will speak for itself. And I know, it's, it's, like I said before, it's not an easy task. It's going to be a hard task. But I'm prepared and ready to go for, uh, for a hard, crucial 10 rounds. Jerry, we'll end with this. New trainer, but you say you're still the same fighters in some aspects. How will we see a different Jared Hurd, though, come Saturday night than what we've seen in the past? Uh, well, mainly I want to get hit less. You know, um, <laughs> that's first and foremost. You know, I, I've been in a fight of the years. Each and every year I was a candidate for fight of the year, and I realized in those fight of the years, those fights have to be back and forth. So I don't want any more back and forth fights. I just want to, from this point on, to have one side of fights. Of course, being me, um, on, um, just controlling the fight. And uh, that's basically what I want to see. I want to see dominant performance from here on out for the rest of my career. Now we come to the main event. Ivan Redcatch, Danny Garcia. Ivan. You said, and you were quoted as saying, you, we will see a new Ivan style Saturday night against Danny Garcia. What is that new style? I, trained, I had a very long camp. I, I had a good camp. Um, and we had uh, a routine that we worked on, um, and you will see it on Saturday night. Danny, you know, when these boxing writers were writing about the welterweight division, they said Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Manny Pacquiao, and then it ended with Sean Porter. How much is this fight about showing the sport showing the division, showing the boxing public, Danny Garcia is still one of the elite welterweights in the sport of boxing. You know, every fight from now on is a fight for my legacy. You know, um, this will be my 38th fight. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like a young veteran now. Um, but, uh, you know, I feel great. And um, I'm always going to be one of the best fighters in the world, you know. Um, I'm, here, I'm here by popular demand, you feel me? So... It is what it is, and um, the rankings could be the rankings. In my heart, I let the politics be the politics. 
But I go in there and do the fight, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to fight. I'm not here to worry about politics. I'm here to go and show the world that I'm a force to be reckoned with. I'm, you attended the Charlo Harrison fight. And you told uh, a journalist that you saw Errol Spence, and you told Errol Spence, I will see you in April in the ring after I knock out Danny Garcia. <laughs> Tell us, how are you going to shock the world and knock Danny Garcia out on Saturday? Дэнни Гарсия очень крутой боец. Мы покажем крутой бой. И я не сомневаюсь, что я выиграю и выиграю нокаутом. Дэнни Гарсия, once again, I'm going to repeat myself. So, Дэнни Гарсия is a good fighter. And I have a game plan. And I think I'm going to knock him out. And we'll see on Saturday night. And to follow up on that, you also said Devin Alexander overlooked you. And that's why he got knocked out. And you believe Danny is doing the same. You still feel that way? Once again, I respect Danny Garcia. He's a very cool fighter. But we will see it Saturday night. Danny, your response to that? Number one, I'm not Devin Alexander. Number two, I'm not 18 of the people he knocked out. And number three, don't try too hard because you might knock yourself out. Manny Pacquiao's manager, Danny, said that Manny will be watching this fight closely because he's looking for an impressive performance. Do you feel any extra pressure to look really good Saturday night? No, nah, no pressure at all. You know, I have to go in there and just do my thing and get this victory. Uh, Man, he's been saying he's been wanting to fight me for the last two years. It still hasn't happened. But um, like I said before, I have to go in there and get this victory. And then whatever the future brings, I'm ready. And you've, you've said this throughout. I'm focused on Ivan Redcatch. But you know there are big things that could be in your future. If you had a preference and someone came to you and said, do you want this fighter or this fighter? Would you want Manny Pacquiao? Would you want Errol Spence? You know, my mind is set for Saturday night. You know, I can't, I, I trained 10 weeks for this fight, so I can't overlook Ivan. I know he's hungry and I know he wants this. I know he wants to have a break, I want, he, said, he wants to have a breakout fight. But um, I'm prepared for what he has to the table. And once we get this victory, then like I said before, it doesn't matter, Manny Pacquiao, or Errol Spence, or. Anybody who wants to fight me, just, I'm here. Let's get it on. Ivan, last word. What should we expect Saturday night when you get in the ring with Danny Garcia? It's going to be a great boy. Fanatum, he will remember. He will remember Danny Garcia. He won on this arena. He said that it's his home. We'll see you on Saturday night. It's going to be a very cool fight. The fans are going to love it. Danny Garcia lost on this arena once. And you're going to see Saturday night. It's going to be a very good fight, interesting fight. Danny, give you the final word. It don't matter who I beat, who I lost to. Come Saturday night, he's going down. There you have it, folks. Comes your way Saturday, January 25th, Showtime Championship Boxing, a triple header of fights. We start out a couple of unbeaten fighters. The co-main, we've got Santana against Hurd. And then the main event, Danny Garcia, Ivan, Red Catch, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific time. And don't forget, we're also streaming some of the undercar fights. That comes your way at 7 o'clock Eastern time, 4 o'clock Pacific time on the Short Time Sports YouTube page and our Facebook page as well. Fighters, let's face off. Bye.